I'm looking at the monitor this way because I want to do an instructional video on my computer, but I want my camera to see more of my face. So if I put my monitor like this, and I'm talking like that, it's still like just hitting this side of the face. It's really drives me crazy. Oh, that's a little better. I mean, I have so much hit white light hitting my left side. It drives me crazy. It's still in my shot. This is one of the reasons why I don't do instructional videos on the computer too much because it's such a pain to set up everything and to make it look good. And I'm really a professional videographer. I've been doing this for 20 plus years now and I'm just not happy with how this lighting setup is working for me. However, I did buy lighting specifically for my desk to do this type of shot. And that's what this video is all about. To make it easy for me to be able to do more instructional videos. So I just basically have to hit a switch. Like I'll have everything set up and ready to go. I just have to turn it on and I can get going and the lighting hopefully will be better. I haven't done the setup before yet. It's a lighting setup I bought off Amazon. And so let's go ahead and get this new lighting system set up to see if it looks a little better than this. Okay, this is a Viozone, Viozo Pro. It's a desktop live mount. It looks pretty cool. Things are gonna fall out of the box. I'm a mess. Okay, so let's go ahead and start pulling everything out. So I bought a couple things for this. So let's go ahead and just get things open. So this is a ring light that came with it. So I'm gonna put that over to the side for a minute. It's probably some type of instructions right here. I should have looked at the instructions first, maybe. This is for a monitor. Has a bunch of different stuff on it. Laptop plate, has uh, wrenches, things like that. Okay, here, check it out that way. There's an arm, there's another arm. It looks like this is for a cell phone. Okay, this is the main unit, I like that. Some Velcro, that's to help tie the cords. Let's just start pulling everything out. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be using that or not. This is for a uh, regular microphone. See that? Here's an adjustable swing arm. I bought a bunch of different adapters for this. Head flash trigger receiver. This will work for my desk. We'll see or I'm gonna have to uh, do some little work on the desk to make this fit, but looks like it might be okay. So looks like a lot of this stuff just puts together just like that. So here's the ring light. That doesn't look bad. I don't see why I couldn't use this, but I did, like I said, buy another type of light for this project. This is the main unit that is going to hook onto the desk itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I don't think I'm going to read the directions on this. Looks like this it slides up and down. Okay, so I'm going to put this underneath the desk first. Let's see how this goes. And what I want to be able to do is be able to use this mount, this whole lighting rig, so it'll go for my Mac and also when I want to do PC demonstrations, being able to swing that arm and bring the camera and everything over here to the PC. It's right behind here. Ha! Get underneath here and let's tighten this up. Here's the main unit right here. This should be able to slide up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera on first. I know that there's gonna be a screw that's gonna fall out, so I have to hold it, that on. Okay, that goes like that. That's gonna be perfect. That can be for my camera. There's a leveler right here that I'm gonna put the camera on so I can turn this little ball 
like that. So that is gonna mount right on like this. I have attached this arm onto the main pole that's gonna slide down onto the main pole over there. So we have three different arms and it comes with these clips that slide into the main pole right behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip one of these arms in first. I'm gonna do all three of them and see how things come out. So let's go ahead and slip this arm in first, this adapter. So that slides right in, just like that. Tighten it up. Now this is gonna be go up like this and it swivels. Here's a mount right here. That's nice. So that'll go like that. So here's another arm. There we go. Just get that right in there like that. Okay, that'll work like that. This is the top. So let's see what happens with this. So now that we have our three arms in, just like this, and monitor, camera, uh, possible lighting. We're gonna go ahead and see if uh, how we can get the lighting panel put in. So now that I have the main unit installed, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out this lighting box that I bought. It's a uh, uh, Rollflex light. And like all type of instructions, it sort of just comes with pictures. It's not very easy to figure out, so I'm just gonna have to muddle my way through and see how this works out. So we have a bunch of stuff in this box. Here's the main light. Here's something I think that'll go on the back. It does have some arrows right here to which way this is gonna stretch out. This is going to go around the light if I want it to. Uh, this is going to go in front of the light to help diffuse the light a little bit main adjuster. This is the power box. Power cables. Not exactly sure what this little guy is for, but we're gonna figure that out. This is to attach onto the light so I can swivel the light around when it gets onto the stand. And here is another diffuser. This is a foldable softbox. So see what happens with this, but that's everything in this bag. The instructions were just, I don't know. Let's follow the arrows. This arrow stretches this way and this stops like that. Okay, so there we go. This is gonna go into these pockets right here. Oh, it flexes. Okay, it's flexing. That's good. Get that straight. Oh, see, look. So it flexes it out, and it's really lightweight. So this should be perfect. This is the diffuser that's going to go on the light like this. Not sure how much I like it. Um, it was a pain. So it took me like 20 minutes to figure it out and put it together, but it's like a tent. So if you can see inside, it has these green poles that are flexible, and there's four of them and they go corner to corner, uh, two goes together, and then there's some little ties right in here, little Velcro clips that the poles go through right here, and then they clip into these little things right like that. Originally, I had this arm like that, this extender. So I took that off, and I put the extender in the bottom of this light, right like that. I'm gonna tighten it down, tighten this. So this is the one of the arms that it came with, one of the elbow joints, so it can move back and forth like that. Okay, tighten that down, tighten this bar down, and they sent a ton of these adapters, which I also bought some extras. So I'm screwing this on like this. The power cord's coming on this side, it's gonna hang. Now what I can do is take this adapter here, which is an extra one, and that should screw right on like that. And I made sure that this was really tight right here. So that should work out good. 
So there's one elbow joint. Now here's the next elbow joint. And that's going to fit on this way. Now this <laughs> is ridiculous. This is gonna attach in, which I know you can't see. Push it back a ways, move it forward. And it's still like huge. I just, not sure if I wanna keep this on. Once I drop it down, it's gonna be in my face. I don't like that. This elbow joint, I can loosen it up and bring it down, but it's just not high enough. It's not high enough. I think this little tent gizmo is gonna have to come off. That's looking a little better. I think we could bring this up, this arm joint up a little bit. Bring this back. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get. Now, we do have this other scrim that I think I can stretch across to help diffuse a little bit. Okay, so what I was able to do to put this scrim on was it had Velcro and I tucked it in along these lines here. This Velcro sort of pulled out, so I was able to be able to tuck it in and then this can just wrap around, but it's fine for right now. So it's been a month now since I started this video. And basically what happened was I needed a, another ball adapter to be able to mount this monitor on this arm so I can have the configuration the way I want it. I went on Amazon to order one and Viozone doesn't sell them on Amazon. So I had to order it directly through their website and it literally took a month to get it. So now that I have it, let's put it all in place. So here's the adapter that I needed. And there's a little bolt that comes off right at the bottom here. That's gonna fit up in a place like this. This screws right down on it. Let's get our Allen wrench and tighten the bolt up. Now I can put the ball head on the mount, just like that. Now let's get this into place. This is gonna twist right on just like that. It is finally basically configured like all the pieces are on. Now I need to attach my HDMI cable from the monitor to the camera or vice versa. You know, here's. So that's gonna plug in right on the side. And this is a Shinobi monitor. It's a 4K monitor. It's really nice. I like it a lot. I have two of them. This is gonna get plugged in on the side of my camera. Now I can either use this power cord for the monitor or I can use a battery. It clicks right into place. Now what I'm going to do is configure this the way I want it and clean up all the cables. So I'm gonna get going on that right now. Okay, what I wanna do is I wanna get my monitor on the left and my camera on the right. Now I can just move the arms back and forth or I can take everything off and do that. That might be a hassle. Let's just drop this arm down, get this swiveled over. Now let's get my camera to the height that I want. So I'm gonna to need to get my chair and I'm facing the computer, how I want it, this camera is looking good so far, but I need to lower it down. This may not be the best HDMI cable for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out. Okay, the great thing is, is once I have this all set up, I'm not gonna have to mess with it again. Okay, that is looking really good so far. Bring my camera closer to the monitor. Okay, bring the monitor down a little bit more. Okay, I basically have everything set up and ready to go. And all I need to do now is turn the light on. And I already have my wireless microphone attached to my camera where I want it. And here is the receiver right here. I'm not gonna be needing that right now. And I also wanna clean up the cords, but let's first turn this light on and see how it looks. Here's the main power adapter. Now it has a switch on the side. And when I switch it to the number two, it's 
that's where I want it. And I turn the light back right on and it's really bright. Here's the control right here. You have your Calvin and these are just push button, which is really nice. So you can turn it up or down. Here's, let's get that down to maybe, oh, let's go 3750, that might be okay. And on the right here, this is the intensity of the light. I can bring that down. I'll look at my side monitor here. Bring it up a little. And that looks really good, just about like that. Now I wanna clean up the cords. All of these arms have little plastic things that you can just wrap, take off, and you can just put your cords right up in just like this. Hope you can see that all right. Clip it in. That looks really good. I'm facing my monitor how I want it. The camera is basically how I want it. I'm still just maybe a little dark on my left side, but I think that's gonna be okay. I really like how this is set up. Now what I'm gonna be able to do is when I wanna use my PC, which is right over the left, I can just sort of turn all of this over and go over top of my PC. I might have to bring the monitor over a little bit to get it centered up, but that's basically it. It took me a little while to set up, a lot longer than I actually anticipated, but now that it's totally set up, I'm ready to go and I'm really excited about it. All I have to do is turn on the camera, turn on the monitor, and I'm ready to start doing some software tutorials and that is so exciting and easy for me to do. It will totally save me a lot of time on setup. The Viozone selfie stand, the cameras that I'm using, the wireless mics, also the, the cool light that I bought, and the monitor. I have all of that stuff in the description of this video, linked to Amazon for you to be able to buy it if you would like. Now remember the third adapter that I had to use, I did have to order it special. So if you wanna use that, you're going to have to wait about three weeks, maybe at least for me to get it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. You have yourself a wonderful day.